So we're here with Mr. James Richardson, the Assistant Professor of New Media Studies. Did I get it right? New Media Technology, okay, but New that's Media fine. Technology. I was close. So welcome. Thank you. We're so honored to have you with us. Um, we were speaking with Professor Rubin earlier, mm -hmm. um, talking about Web TV. This is obviously a new project, something we're excited about. Um, so we wanted to kind of ask you some other stuff just so we can get a really broad idea of what's going on so everybody understands exactly what Web TV is going to be in LaGuardia. Certainly. Okay. So one of the, the major questions that the students wanted to know was in regards to the budget. I know um, from being a media student myself, we do have a lot of new equipment that we got um, as far as the video classes and everything like that goes. So I know that's exciting. Um, have they been supportive and what is the influence on getting this kind of on its feet? Uh, I'll tell you that you know I've been here at LaGuardia approximately eight years and this is probably one of the best years that we've actually gotten funding. Wow. Uh, so we were very lucky that almost everything that, almost everything that we asked for we got. Uh, in terms of new hardware, new software, uh, cameras, um, the uh, I spoke directly with uh, Vice President Katopas and with President Mello. Both of them are very committed to the media studies and new media programs, uh, which to a large extent are going to help um, push the Web TV initiative forward. So, you know, I'm the college seems to be very much behind it. Oh, that's great. That's really, really great. And. In regards to students submitting uh, materials, what is pretty much the format of that? Would they send it to you directly, or is there kind of like a board that's going to approve all of that? How is that going to work? We're still in the process of putting all the logistics behind it. Mm -hmm. Right now, we've been focusing mostly on making sure that we had all the software, hardware, and the, uh, the infrastructure to basically stream the video. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working very closely with student activities. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor Rubin and myself uh, will probably have a committee that will sit down and um, logistically figure out the best way for submitting materials to uh, the web TV programs. Uh, what we're looking to do is to get students this semester and the next couple of semesters basically developing the content, developing the right. shows, developing the, the material that we are going to be putting on the web. Um, but we're still working out the actual format and some of the logistics. Hopefully we'll have that, I'm um, hopefully that we'll have this uh, hammered down hopefully this semester. Right, so if there are students whether inside that media umbrella or not, that want to submit material. As far as time restraints and all of those other details, that's just going to kind of come about within the next few months, you'd say, more or less? More or less. It'll probably be much quicker than that. Right. Uh, interim right now, we're putting together a YouTube channel mm -hmm. to stream most of the best videos that come out of the Thompson Avenue Film Fest that we have here at the Media Studies Program, as well as a lot of the um, videos that come out of just the natural coursework that we do here with new media and new media technology. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be promoting um, our programs and web TV initially through that until we have all the other stuff in place in terms of um, the format and how we're going to basically be streaming web TV. Okay. So do you have a set launch date that you're having like this big explosion or is it pretty much just fall of next year is going to be? We're going to basically have a launch date, um, but we haven't set that date yet. We're still working with the committee with student activities and with Professor Rubin to figure out exactly uh, when's the best time to launch it actually how, ho housing the actual equipment mm -hmm. and making sure that we're ready to go. And have you gotten any resistance from anybody in the school or no, staff? No, none, whatso none. none whatsoever. Um, you know, we're, we're very lucky from that standpoint. We really got almost everything that we wanted. Uh, the, the major issue that we had, the one thing that we had most concerns about was spacing. Uh, a, uh, an actual physical studio to actually shoot some of the video. Mm. And we're lucky enough to be here at the Black Box Theater, so we do have a nice large space where we have cameras and a control room where we can actually put together very well developed and polished programs. And not many schools actually have this type of you know, physical space, let alone the equipment and hardware right. that we have. Right. And how important do you think web TV is to contributing to students who want to further their career in this field? Is it something that you feel is necessary or that's been overdue maybe for a long time? Oh, it's definitely something that's been overdue. Um, and considering that media uh, is 
pretty much converging just about on every aspect of our lives. Um, students who are serious about um, promoting their own livelihood through this media um, need a facility like this, need an avenue like this to basically be able to, uh, to practice their craft, to practice everything from developing of the content to screenwriting to uh, you know, physically manning the cameras and the lighting. It's, it's, it's critical if you're going to be successful in this field. Right. And what type of programs do you want this to, is that something that's still in the creative process? Is it only going to be like LaGuardia-based material, or are you kind my, of expanding uh, outside of that? My actual hope is that it's much broader. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to see a you know a, a wide variety of programs, everything from you know like music to you know comedy to you know everything within good taste, of course. But right. I would like to see a, a wide variety of of, of content. Mm -hmm. um, because if you just basically kind of like market it just towards one little small niche, it's sometimes it works. But I, I think we, we have such diversity here at the school that Absolutely. it would be interesting to see where that creativity and where that diversity actually can expand to. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. And what would your um, advice or opinion be to people who are maybe – you know, because sometimes people aren't too excited about school-related programs and they think it's just automatically in their head. They say, okay, well, this is going to be really cheesy or boring. What If they were watching right now, what would you want them to know that would kind of draw them in and let them see that it's going to be something different? The most important thing is that the content is going to be developed by fellow students. Whatever the students really want to see, as long as this was within, you know, acceptable taste, you know, it's going to be fine. Um, and it, this is going to be uh, student-generated content. You know, uh, students are going to have uh, a, a voice in every aspect of the content that's put out on the web. Uh, and that's one of the major reasons why we teamed up specifically with student activities to, to, to make sure that the students' voices were represented. Um, myself, as a professor, I might have different... Um, taste towards what I might want to see. Um, however, it, this is going to be a student-run production. So, you know, we, we're going to advise, but, you know, bottom line, it's, this is whatever, it's going to be whatever they want to make it. And I think that's so important, you know what I mean? Because especially in a school like this, when you just have so many different cultures and nationalities, you have so many different types of people who do have a voice, who do want to express themselves, and they feel limited to that. And I think that, you know, media, especially through video, is just so important that this is an outlet that they've been in need of for a long time. So, you know, I really hope that they take advantage of this, mm -hmm. um, you know, as much as you're saying, and that they really just attach themselves to this vision because it's something that can have, I believe, more of an effect than, let's say, any other field because video is something that you can capture in that moment and, and touch them. You but know. this is also one of the reasons why we really wanted to do this, because right. we saw the success of the web radio programs here at LaGuardia and how the students gravitated towards creating their own audio programs. Mm -hmm. Video is the next step up. That's right. And, you know, now not only do you have the, the actual audio, you have the, the visual images directly there in front of you. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of great things here, mm -hmm. um, and I expect we're going to do a lot more uh, in terms of, you know, um, the, the, the amount of stuff that we have to play with is, is phenomenal. So it's, it's really going to be on the students to, to push this level forward. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we're very excited. And um, Mr. Richardson, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank it's you an very honor much. having you with us. And we're really excited about this launch for Web TV. I think it's going to be a great thing. Thank you.